welcome back. Uh, still working on this 2008. It's a Toyota Highlander. We did the uh, rear struts already. We did the rear stabilizer links already. Now we're going to move up to the front and we're going to take care of the front struts at the same time. We all get to change the stabilizer links in the front also. Um, so let's, uh, let's get up there and I'm going to uh, show you how to, uh, to do the fronts. The fronts you have to remove the windshield wiper blade and you have to remove that cowling up in the front to gain access to the bolts. But I'm going to show you how to do that. It's, it's fairly easy. Alright, so uh, let me get started up there and uh, I'll show you how to do it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. Let's get up here and take a look at it. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up underneath the hood here and as you can see down underneath here is the bolts down there for the top of the strut. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to uh, remove the wiper arm itself. We're going to take this, this nut off right here, it's probably a 14 millimeter. We're going to remove that 14 millimeter and we're going to lift this up so we can gain access to these bolts down here. So uh, let's get some tools and uh, let's get started. Sometimes these come off right away, sometimes they don't. You just have to rock them a little bit to get them to come off. Same thing on this one over here. You just have to rock a little bit to get it off. Just take the nut off. And you can just rock this back and forth and it comes right off. Now, in this particular case, I just want to point this out to you. These wiper blades, when you take them off the window, you're going to make sure you put them back on in the same location where they came off. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this here. And the way you do that is just remove this. Everything is held down with just plastic clips. down on the center like that and then this comes right out. Don't lose them. You're going to need to put them back on there. And we're going to go around the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And we'll, uh, we'll take that off too. Try not to break them because you're going to need them. Just take that and put it this side. And now we just make sure we get these other little clips out like this. right out of the way. We're not going to go far with it, we're just going to take these bolts out up in the front there. Now if you've got air, you can use air. 
If you don't have air, you can do them by hand also. What I normally do is remove What I normally do is remove two of the bolts and just leave, I'm sorry, two of the nuts and leave one of them holding the nut, one nut holding the strut to the body of the, uh, of the car. Don't lose these nuts, you're going to need them again to put it back together. Now the third one, you, you, you loosen the third one, but you don't remove it all the way. You leave it still held in there by around one thread. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to raise the car up and we'll remove the, uh, the bolts on the bottom. Okay, now obviously we have the car up in the air and what we're going to do to remove the, the strut here is we're going to take out this bolt right here. This holds the uh, ABS sensor out of the way and it also holds the brake line out of the way too. We're just going to pull this piece right here off just like that. We're going to take out these two bolts right here, and then we're going to remove the uh, stabilizer link right here. Again, be careful not to strip this out, because otherwise you're going to have a bit of a problem. All right, so uh, let's grab some tools and uh, let's get started. On this one, you have to be a little more careful. When you take this, this side out, you can't pull this too far out. You don't want to pull the tripod apart on the drive axle, so be careful how far you pull out the, uh, the wheel. All right, so... Uh, Let's get started on it. Right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this sensor. Save this bolt because you're going to need to put it back on. I'm just going to relocate these to the side for now just temporarily. Next thing we're going to do is let's take off this uh, stabilizer link, I'm sorry. It's a little bit rusty, so it's going to be a bit of a problem trying to get it off. I'm going to try using air just to break it loose. You can use a socket on here, I think it's an 18 millimeter, just to break it loose. But what happens is the, um, the nut turns, and when that nut turns, this whole thing spins. So you just hold it with the uh, with the Allen tape, and you can just take this and you can turn it right off. If 
you were reusing this stabilizer link, we would be real careful with it. But in this case, we're going to be changing the link. So I'm going to, I'll show you how to do that, the rest of it in a minute. All right, now our strut is disconnected. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to take these two nuts out right here so we can remove the strut all the way from the car. Now, if you have an air gun, you can use it. If you don't, you're going to need to do it by hand. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm taking the nut off and I'm just holding the other side with a wrench to keep it from rotating. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these out. Now remember what I said, you don't want this to pull out too far and damage your inner tripod. So just be careful with that. You lift it up a little bit and you pull your, your bolts out. And then you can push your strut in. And be careful with that, just keep it right there. Now you can lift your strut up, and with your other hand, reach up top and take the nut out, and you can take it out of the, uh, out of the car. Alright, be careful with that tripod again, alright? Now let's take it over to the bench or over to the, uh, to the press. Now we're going to switch the uh, coil spring over onto the new strut. So let's set it up on the, uh, on the coil spring compressor. Okay, we now have the strut set up in the, uh, in the compressor. Uh, again, I want to mention if you don't have this compressor, don't try doing it without some type of a tool that can compress this safely. Because God forbid this spring comes flying out, it'll kill you or break, minimum it'll break your bones. So um, be real, get real careful with that. In this case, I have the compressor, so we're just going to compress this spring down a little bit now. This is to keep it from rotating when I when I hit it with the air gun, because anybody in the business knows that when you hit it with an air gun, it rotates. You get this type of a thing here to actually hold it on there, but this doesn't really hold very well. And you want to just compress it until it's loose. This strut's just a little bit rusty up on top, so I'm just going to tap it out.
to get it out because it's so rusty. over this piece here onto the new strut like this and then we're going to switch over this rubber piece here onto the new strut too. Put our strut back through there. And we'll catch our nut. spring fits right into here, it fits right into the bottom right there. So if you don't have that spring compressor, don't do it. Take it to a part store and let them switch it over for you. So let's get back over to the car and we'll put this back together. Strut assembly back in. You put it back in the same way you took it out. back through the top and we're going to catch one nut up on the top. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get these bottom bolts back in place where they belong. Right here. the way that came out. In this particular case they were going front to rear.
Get your nuts back on there. One side with your wrench, and you tighten it with your uh, your air gun. And if you don't have an air gun, you do it by hand. Nice and tight. Next thing we're going to do, we just snap that plastic clip back on. We're going to put the uh, we're going to put the uh, the brake line and the ABS sensor back in place, and we're going to screw that through with the uh, with the nut. I'm going to change the stabilizer link, but if you were not changing the link, we would just reattach this right onto here and put the nut back in that holds the link in place. But uh, we are going to change the link, so um, I'm going to do that right now. Like that. Now the one I can tighten up with the air gun is fairly easy. The other one's a little tighter. Hold it with your wrench and you can tighten it up. Now we're going to go around the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. All right. Okay, once you got the uh, the bolts tight on the top over here, you can either shoot them on with the air gun, or you can tighten them on by the hand. Okay, once you've got the uh, top of the struts tight, then you can put your your cover back on here. And it just slides right in. Second, which 
same way that it was taken off. Careful not to tighten these too tight and snap them off. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe to my channel.